Every piece of our history here in the Tri-State is immortalized in bronze statues or printed in textbooks. Yes, yeah, so much of our history, in fact, fades when the people who remember it pass on. In Hamilton, a piece of that history is buried beneath a park, and it's piqued the interest of a teenager who did some digging into the life of a soldier. More than 200 years ago, in fact, so Ken Brown is live for us in Hamilton with more on, how Paul, uh, more on Paul Bonnell's story and how it's getting a new life. Yeah, this is an interesting one, and it started as a project by an aspiring Eagle Scout. So we're standing in Sims Park in Hamilton right now. Sims Park is named after a captain in the Revolutionary War, but we're not talking about that captain. Instead, we're talking about a person who was a private in the Revolutionary War and is believed to be buried in that grassy patch just over my shoulder. Over time, memories fade. They weather and decay. The monument, remembering Captain John Cleve Sims, is no exception. Cracked and fading, it stands as a tribute to a Revolutionary War veteran in a space that was once a cemetery in Hamilton. You drive by it every day and you're just like, oh, there's a park. But, I mean, there's, there's people still buried there in un unmarked graves. Zach Kramer is a life scout, and as a project for the scouts, he's been researching the life of a Revolutionary War veteran, but not Captain Sims. Instead, Private Paul Bunnell, a name you won't find in your child's history books, but he's a man who lied about his age to enlist at 15 and returned after his first tour of duty. He turned in his pension. He said, I don't want this anymore. You know, I want to re-enlist. Ended up being shot in the head uh, by a musket ball and then uh, came out and then he was like, I want to re-enlist again. And he fought again and he fought in both the Revolutionary War and the uh, War of 1812. In Kramer's research, he learned Private Bunnell is buried in the old Fourth Ward Cemetery next to his wife, Mary. The graves there were later dug up and moved to clear the way for the Fourth Ward Park and eventually Sims Park. The only problem is the record of the graves that were moved never made mention of the Bunnells. They moved the majority of them to the current burying grounds where they lay now at Greenwood, but I mean, you, you you don't think of what can be right under your feet and stop to give it you know, the thought and the respect that they deserve. That's where Zach in a business called the Underground Detective got to work. His daughter had um, left something, his obituary, and just kind of described a general area, the northwest corner of the Fourth Ward Park, which is Sims Park now. What's up, Dave? Scans of the ground revealed two side-by-side -side voids, which they believe to be graves. Kramer's project includes building a bench and plaque to remember the two Bunnells believed to still be buried in the park. It just didn't sit right with me. And I mean, I'd love to do more, but right now I'm just focusing on Mr. Bunnell and his wife. And a ceremony to remember Private Bunnell is gonna be held here at two o'clock as part of the Hollow Earth Festival that runs from noon until four on Saturday. That ceremony will be in a military style and the event as a whole is a big fundraiser to raise money to make improvements to the park. And guys, this is of course an interesting story. And as I mentioned, the only thing marking that grave right now is some of the spray paint that you saw them use as they were surveying the area. Reporting live in Hamilton, Ken Brown, Fox 19 now. If that was my son. I would be so proud of him. Mm -hmm. You know, sounds like a great kid, very thoughtful and uh, doing a great thing. An important work. Yeah. Solid story, Ken. Thank you.